Welcome one live to the first edition of Tuesdays with Tim. I hope to offer some wisdom to help our community navigate some uh, interesting times. So today I wanted to talk about uh, three things, and this is all part of our One Life Thrive weekly program that's going to help uh, our members navigate these uh, most interesting times. So what we want you to do is um, tune in every day this week and there will be a different uh, way of us helping you uh, not only survive but to thrive in these challenging times. So today I want to go over three things. Uh, number one, how do we adjust in these uncertain times? Number two, our One Life Roadmap and how the, um, our core four teachings are more important than ever. And number three, I want to just touch on why I want you to join us this Saturday when uh, Jeremy Reisig, brother, AKA Brother James and I go deep with the community on how to do what we're going to talk about right now. Number one, I want to talk about the importance of our core four teachings, which if you don't know us, um, you can buy our One Life Roadmap Journal. That's the number One Life Roadmap Journal on Amazon. And it's the inner to dream, plan, and live your best life. And what is that? It's vision planning. Where am I going with all of this? Finances. How will I fund this? Now, more important than ever, uh, relationships. Who's going to help me along the path? And wellness. How can I be healthy in my mind, body, and spirit to live this magnificent life I was blessed to, uh, to be given here. So, so that's number one is pick up. Uh, you can also pick it up at onelifefullylive.org, the digital download of our core four teachings. Um, please for yourself, teach others this. Now more than ever, you need to know the life core four teachings and it's available at onelifefullylive.org. So, um, number two, how do we adjust in uncertain times? You see, I was blessed with a uh, uh, most interesting mom. Her classic line was, Timothy, adjust. And, and uh, you know, it wasn't always pleasant. All of our lives aren't pleasant. And no matter what was happening, she really focused on um, figure it out. You know, you, you've been you've been given these tools, so adjust. So how do we do that? And to me, the word right now, the operative word besides adjust is resiliency, is, is really thinking about um, how can I go deep inside of me, remember the tools in previous times when my back was against the wall. Think of times when you were like, Holy criminy, everything's changing and I don't like it. What did you do? Well, this is, this is what I suggest you do to um, survive, land on your feet, and, and grow and thrive, which is our want for you through One Life Fully Lit. So number one is you take a Where do I sit now? And that really matters, you know, now more than ever financially. Gosh, do I? on hand and and convertibles like gold silver stocks things that if you needed to you could turn in you know and have you want to have some cash on hand and food supplies and stuff like that um and just make sure you have the basics covered uh, it's it it may just be a blip and not last long it may be something that you know uh this is the of a 19 one year game so really um, take a step back, see where you are, plan for the worst, and make the best happen. Number one is take account. Number two is take a step back and observe and, and get quiet and go find a, you know, maybe it's a, a room in your house if you, or apartment if you have indoors. Maybe you could sneak away to a park or something, but more out in nature, the better. And just get quiet and either bring a journal with you or... Um, you know, just find a way to pray, meditate, 
think back on times when you were in rough times and you navigated it and you did do well and you came out of this and everything worked out okay. Maybe it wasn't better because the circumstances drastically changed, but what did you learn from it? How did you grow? How did you show up? How do you plan to show up this time for yourself um, and others in your family that so dear, dearly need you if you're watching this? So, so uh, and, and the things you want to think about when you're, when you're thinking about this resiliency is, uh, and quietness is how can I adjust? What are the bold action steps I need to be courageous enough to make? And how can I... Um, not run away from this, but, but think about what do I need to do and uh, what are my plans going forward? How am I going to adjust accordingly? You know, the world has changed. Let me give you a good example. Um, I come from the world of real estate and I've been through a lot of ups and downs in the real estate world. And I remember one, um, you know, around the 90s when the prices had changed, the market had changed, but the sellers didn't believe it. And the buyers would only pay a new price for homes, but sellers still wanted up here. And in the stock market, we know what Apple's going for, we know what Google's going for, and that's what the buyer and seller are gonna agree on. But in real estate, um, sometimes you have to take a fresh look at where you are and realize the ground under you has changed. And, and really look at what does that mean? You know, so, so go back to the take account, really take a good look at, at where was I before this and where was I now as far as, you know, financially cash on hand and what's going to be coming in and where am I needing some help and think it's a marathon, not a sprint, you guys. This thing ain't ending tomorrow. So, so going back to, you know, like drawing on your strengths, drawing on re your resiliency, uh, think of what I said of Timothy adjust. And, and what I look at is how can I be agile? How can I be nimble? One of the advantages we have as, as people and small businesses, most of us, or even employees is we can move quickly. Think of big, heavy lugging corporations who are having giant meetings with big crews right now and are lost. You can have a meeting with yourself, your spouse, your partner, your team, and, and make the bold moves you need to make. And it all comes by, you know, being aware of where you are, what your strengths are, uh, what, you, what were you doing that absolutely makes no sense anymore. And maybe it was something you put your heart and soul and a lot of time into, and you wish it was still gonna be that way, but the stock has changed. Some of them dropped. Some of it, so what was a good idea and a good plan and a good direction a month ago may be out the window and a whole new plan may be in order. And that's what we're doing at One Life Fully Lived and that's what we're doing at GoBundus. That's what this One Life Thrive program is all about, is being nimble on our feet and meeting you where you are as a community uh, giving you as much resources and tools so you see our value, so you grow, thrive, become healthier, wealthier, and th help us throw down the rope and serve others. So let me um, tie the room together here. Uh, first of all, the third thing is please join us this Saturday um, where we're going to go deep into all of this and help you make... Um, make a scorecard, if you will, of where you are now, what do you have next to do, and what are you gonna get done in the following week? Saturday, Jerry and uh, AKA Brother James and I are gonna come to you uh, from the One Life community on a Zoom call, 11 o'clock to probably like one o'clock, 1.30, maybe even two o'clock, uh, really working on um, facilitating an experience where you can best uh, learn, grow, and come out of this hole. So, so we're really looking forward to that. That Saturday morning, 11 o'clock, we'll have a link for you. 
And uh, we, we want to see a lot of you join us and work with us weekly on taking your life to the next level and, and getting through this and, and helping throw down the rope to others. So please share this information with others you know that um, you care about and you want to see them focus on the things that really matter to them in life and not, you know, the fluff, the news, the who's wrong, who's right. Um, how can I play my game best today, tomorrow, and help those that I love also land on their feet? So I'm going to wrap this up. There are three things that I'd like you to do. Number one, uh, join us this Saturday for our, our call at 11 o'clock with the One Life community. Number two, please um, buy our One Roadmap journal the number one, one life, all one word, roadmap, one word, journal, one word on Amazon, or you can see it, uh, you can buy it digitally on our website at onelifefullylive.org. And if you can learn our basic core four teachings and help those you know also master these, it'll serve you well, it'll serve them well. And the more, you know, if you look at it like an army, of lieutenants, majors, and colonels we can get that are mastering these fundamentals and passing them on in this time when the world needs it, you guys. Um, please uh, appreciate all your guys' uh, efforts so far in helping us uh, with the One Life community. Believe it or not, our funds have not dropped off yet. People are still donating. We got four new members this week, and it shows um, of our contributor club, which we'd also, you can go to One Life Fully Live uh, slash support and, and get coaching from people like myself and some of the other uh, masters in our core four area in our community are sitting there waiting to do personal calls with you to help you in all of this. And that's at another level. So anyway, you guys, sorry, I, I detract a bit, but um, one, learn and master our One Life teachings. Two, take account of where you are and go deep in uh, within yourself and be resilient and come out on top. Three, please join us this weekend, uh, 11 a.m., and we're gonna uh, facilitate an experience where you can combine your head, what do I need to do, with your heart how can I get through all this fear and anxiety I am feeling and, and feel motivated and a want to, to, you know, be as brave and courageous as I can and do the things I need to do so I can dream, plan, and live my very best life. Hey guys, uh, this is Tim Rode. Every Tuesday I'll be chiming in, hopefully around 10 o'clock. I was going to say unless it snows, but I can't even do that these days. So I'll be chiming in evidently 10 o'clock as long as this is going on. Uh, wish you all uh, the best and uh, I'll see you on Saturday if not before. Thanks everyone. Peace out.